What's up ladies and gentlemen, Universal Mastery. So what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences to a very practical level so they can use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results with it, okay? My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am fully initiated in Kabbalah. Um, I'm studied with tarot and I'm also studied with uh, astrology, planetary energies and things of that nature. So what I wanna cover in today's video is something that I feel like is really valuable to understand and something that I've unpacked not too long ago, um, but, I, by, but I definitely feel confident with what I've unpacked. And I quite frankly don't hear too many people talking about this, so I just wanna share this information um, so that this could potentially help a lot of people uh, on their evolutionary path. Um, because I know this, this this topic can get a little confusing. So what exactly is the topic, okay? So the topic is gonna be what exactly is the difference between sidereal astrology and tropical astrology? Now, first thing I wanna say is I am not by any means the most studied astrologer. I am very aware of planetary energies. I use planetary energies in, a, in my day-to-day -day life as a professional occultist. Um, but there are tons of astrologers that know astrology much more in depth than I do. But once again, this video is not going to be in regards to going so in depth. This is actually pretty general. And once again, I think it's going to offer value to everyone who's listening because I know there's a lot of people that get confused uh, when it comes to astrology, like which zodiac sign am I? Um, what what is you know is should I follow sidereal or should I follow tropical? Okay, so that's what I want to give some clarity of in today's video. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, stay tuned. Okay, so let's go right into it. So here's the thing. So this is what I found between sidereal and tropical and the differences between them. Um, so for a long time, astrology turned me off in regards to like the study of the natal birth chart and all my houses and the zodiacs and all those things, mainly because I didn't understand the difference between sidereal and tropical. So I didn't want to spend so much time investing myself into a system if it was going to end up being the wrong system. And that actually literally turned me off from astrology for a very long time. Um, then I eventually came around and I just started listening to my intuition. There, mu there must have been... Uh, there were some influences within me that were like, hey, you need to study astrology now. This is going to be very important. So I listened to my intuition, and sure enough, um, where I started was sidereal. Okay, I started with sidereal, the um, Eastern form of astrology. And I spent a lot of time studying it, a lot of time investing into it. Um, and I got, I mean, I was making tons of correspondences with my own natal birth chart myself. I was like, this is right on point. This is the, this is the real astrology. This is the real system to use. Um, so if you don't know, tropical and sidereal are almost an entire zodiac sign apart right now at this point in time. Um, so for example, if you're studying sidereal, all your signs are going to be in different locations than as if you were studying tropical. Tropical is one sign ahead, sidereal is one sign before, backwards, behind, you could say. Um, so this is, this is also what happened. Um, so I, I gained an idea of how the house system works. I started to understand my own natal birth chart and everything in that nature. And then I came to some understandings of tropical astrology because I went on YouTube and I was searching up astrology. Um, to study my birth chart, and I followed all these astrologers, and they did these weekly horoscopes um, in regards to what to expect for this new transit that's happening, and this and that, and this and that. So I spent a lot of time listening to these tropical astrologers because, if you're aware, most of the people that do online horoscopes in regards to covering the astrological forecast, they usually are using tropical, uh, the system of tropical um, astrology. So I was listening to those and I really was liking them. Um, and I was also noticing correspondences in my day-to-day -day life with what they were saying and in the tropical version of astrology. So that's when everything in my mind again was like, what the hell is going on? What is really happening? Like, which one is real? Which one's right? And I really took some time to try and unpack it. And I did. 
Okay, so I got the answer. So, this is the truth. When it comes to sidereal and when it comes to tropical astrology, there's not one that's right or wrong. They are both right. They both have validity and they both are 100% effective. Now, there are 100% some big differences between them, but I'm going to explain how they actually intermesh and intermingle with each other. Okay? So, what I found is that sidereal is much more ancient than tropical. I mean, it's from the east and it can trace all the way back to Mesopotamia and Babylon and things of that nature. It's way more ancient. And then the tropical version is much more modern. It's, um, you know, the west. It's, it's more new age, but it still has some very profound um, value to it. This is the difference that I figured out. When it comes to sidereal astrology, it has to do more so with your mental state. So what I mean by that is it has to do with the mental plane. So if you're somebody who is doing a lot of spiritual work and you're existing more so on the mental plane, um, being an observer of your emotions, that's what existing in the mental plane is. It's being an observer, realizing that you're not your emotions, but that you are a spirit that is living in a body that is experiencing energies, emotion, emotions. If you are that kind of person, then you're going to resonate much more with sidereal astrology. Okay? Because it's more mental. Okay? Um, it's, that's, it's just a fact. It's more mental. Um, and... We all know the ancient Egyptian principle that comes from the Tablets of Thoth that says the universe is mental. So sidereal astrology is very important, and it's important to understand it and study it in your own natal birth chart, especially if you consider yourself um, somewhat of an advanced practitioner or a practitioner. You know, you want to be the observer. If you're someone who's experienced when it comes to um, spiritual self-development, then you should be the observer of your emotions or you should at least be trying to become it. Okay? So, once again, I want to make this clear. If you are the observer of your emotions, then you are existing in the mental plane and you're aware of the mental plane, so you are going to resonate more personally with sidereal astrology and with that system. Now here's the caveat. When it comes to tropical astrology, that has to do more with the emotions, okay? Now we're talking a lot about the mass collective consciousness. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're talking about majority of people that are even unaware of astrology that are now being affected by astrological transitions and alignments and placements that are not existing as the observers of their emotions, but the, their own emotions are what's moving them. So tropical astrology is more so for people who are more emotional and not yet the observers of their current reality. Um, now, when I say the difference between sidereal and tropical is one is the, um, you know, more authentic if you are, you know, a higher level within your spiritual development. The other one's more if you're unaware and you're more moved by your emotions and triggers and things like that. That's not necessarily what I'm saying though. That's not what I'm saying. If it's coming off like that, that's not what I'm trying to have come off because the reality is, is even if you're coming from the perspective of the observer and you are existing on the mental plane, we're still living in a world that is majority the masses. There's more people, many, 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 many more people who are unaware of the occult, who are unaware of astrology, who are unaware of these things than there are of people who, who are. So because we exist around and within a world or within our own environment, mass collective consciousness, where there's more people who are unaware of these things, that affects the person who is the observer. So you're going to recognize let's say, for example, you gravitate more towards sidereal astrology, if you were to study tropical, you'll notice that your environment, the people around you, the mass collective, they're going to be 
more so in alignment with the tropical version of astrology. It's like they're on a whole nother timeline. A whole different timeline. And if you're the observer and you're existing in the mental plane and you identify with sidereal, you'll know how that affects, you'll know that what you're seeing in regards to the sidereal transitions and planetary alignments are not affecting necessarily every single other person around you on a, an emotional level. Okay? So there is not a left and a right, only they actually intermesh and they connect together. So for example, I study sidereal because that's more, it's more authentic because I am the observer of my reality. I am very aware of the mental plane, but that's more so to see what I'm going through on a personal, personal level, what, what I can expect and what, what's going to be coming up. Now, if I want to know how my environment's going to be acting within this certain time frame of these same planetary alignments and placements, then I want to study tropical because my environment's going to be on the tropical system, but I'm going to be on the sidereal system because I am the observer. So this is what I found to be the difference between the sidereal and the tropical systems. Um, so I definitely hope this offered you value if you listen to this, because I know there's a lot of people that get confused of like, which system is it? Which system, you know, do I follow and all that stuff? It all depends on where you're at. If you're not yet the observer of your reality, if you're not yet the, uh, if you not, if you haven't understood the mental plane yet and realize the universe is mental, then you're going to resonate with tropical way more. It's going to make way more sense to you. Okay, because you're on that timeline. Now, if you're more so someone who observes your emotions and you are understanding that, once again, you are this spiritual being that has this human experience where things happen to you, but they aren't necessarily you. It's just things happening to you and you can observe it. Then you're 100% going to uh, resonate much more with sidereal on a personal level. With, I mean, what I mean by that is your own natal birth chart. For that kind, for you, if you are that kind of person, I would highly recommend doing your entitled, your, excuse me, your entire natal birth chart studies within the sidereal system because you'll get a lot of value out of that and you'll resonate with it much more. But if you're much more of an emotional person and you haven't become the observer yet then continue to stay with the tropical, but also make sure you're studying sidereal and the same with the sidereal. Make sure you're studying tropical because remember, you can think of it like this. The tropical is your environment around you. It's the emotions of the mass collective, the people around you. And it's really going to affect the way you are too, because you are part of the mass collective. You're a part of your environment. So just because you may be coming from a place of, oh yeah, sidereal is the only astrology system that is authentic and it's the only one that makes sense and is real. It's not true because you live in a world where there are people existing in the tropical system within that consciousness. So that has an effect on you. So that is going to actually affect your state of being and affect the energies that um, you are observing. So it's important to balance both of these um, different systems and not just choose one side over the other, but understand they both have validity to them. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave it, okay? Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hit the notification bell. I post videos as often as I can. Also, hit the subscribe button because I'd love to see my subscribers shoot through the roof. Um, and definitely make sure you go and you check out my Patreon for exclusive content. Um, for example, I have uh, content on there where I perform actual cult practices on camera and I teach you how to do them yourself. For example, how to do an invocation, which is channeling a spirit to you to then take on its power. Okay, with special techniques on how to do that. Now, what this does is this increases your psychic power. This increases your psychic um, sensitivity. And this also increases your psychic protection. Very important things, and it's fundamental. Okay, and then the other bit of videos that are on my Patreon are in regards to Kabbalah. So if you're interested in studying Kabbalah, I would highly recommend joining my Patreon because I have content on there that is extremely transformative. Um, covering every single sphere on the tree uh, of life and death, and I give you my, the, I give you all the attributions of all the spheres, and then at the end, I break down my own personal experience, having initiated through that my myself. 
okay? Very valuable information. You're not going to find that many other places, okay? Um, in order to gain access to this exclusive content, you have to at least be a tier two member or up. In order to be a tier two, it literally costs $9.95, and that is less than a dollar a day if you actually do the math, okay? So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that, especially with the value that's uh, on the Patreon. Okay, as you go up in tiers, the benefits increase as well. I'll let you check that out for yourself. Um, and with that being said, I'd love to give a special shout out to the highest tier members of the Patreon. Their names are going to be mentioned right below that Patreon link. Huge shout out to you, ladies and gentlemen. And then huge shout out to the Patreon members in general. And then huge shout out to all the YouTube followers. And I want to say this. If you want to book a tarot card reading with me, then drop down to the second link below. It says square appointments. Um, and I will do a tarot reading, breaking the cards down in a very subjective way so that I can literally locate where you are in your own spiritual journey. And I do, I do present, near future, long-term future so I can give you advice on how you're going to move forward and what you need to expect and what you know potential steps you may need to take to really get the most out of it. Okay, The way I do the reading is on my own time. And then when I'm finished, so j just so I can get in the zone 100%, when I finish, I take a video recording. I break down the entire reading. It's going to be a minimum of 30 minutes. When I'm finished, then I send the videos over to you um, through WhatsApp is preferable for me. Um, and then that consists of the reading. So if that's something that you want to book, definitely check out the second link below. Um, it'll take you there. Uh, other than that, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.